Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs, but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Today is the 1st of September 2022. It is a Thursday, the day of pure potentiality. And also the 1st, the 1st of September. Can you believe it? We're already here, 2022. It's insane, right? Um, and uh, an interesting transit, Mars in Gemini is sextiling Jupiter retrograde in Aries. So today may be quite, um, quite agitated mentally. You may be um, in a position where you're like, you want to move forward and you want to do things, but you're not actually quite there yet. There may be this, this sense of like you not maybe not achieving what you've wanted to achieve. Maybe, um, you know, you thinking, how are you not in a space where you should be already? <laughs> um, take it one step at a time. We don't need to see the whole path. We just need to take one step at a time. That's all we need. That's all we need, my friends. That's all we need. Um, you don't need to know the whole path. You don't need to see it all. Um, and, you know, just be grateful. You've got this far. You know, so just 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 be kind to yourself, okay? Be really kind. Um, the moon is also in Scorpio, so there can be that tendency to be quite um, quite forceful with oneself, to want th to want to get things done, to want things to be immediate, for for want you know j just to want something to be over and done with. So just try and sit with that, okay? Seven of Wands reversed, okay. Now with that being said, let's crack on with the reading. <clears throat> the spirit what messages would you like me to communicate to the collective today that's too many i'm reading with the wild unknown tarot i'll be clarifying with the um the oh, i've forgotten what it's called the amenti oracle the lovers reversed The nine of yeah this emulates what, what i was saying about being kind to yourself worrying about stuff worrying about what you haven't done you know sometimes we can think that we are you know that because we have the choices that we've made in the past have we made the right choice are we doing the right thing and then now it's like oh well look at all of this mess look at what i haven't achieved look at what i haven't done what pressure Four of Pentacles reversed. Almost like a plug being pulled. Ace of Wands reversed. This is a mindset that needs to be in the bin. Yeah, get it in the bin. Wow. Okay, right. This makes perfect sense, and I don't need to do any more. This is a, this is going to be a short one, right? Okay, so, so from what I've just said right now, you know, this whole thing of like thinking, I I haven't done. Have I made the right choices? I didn't make the right choices. What did I do? Um, you know, everything was happier before. Um, I I I I don't know if this is the the right thing to do. Um, it's interesting because even though. The Four of Pentacles, the right way up, is like the block. It's reversed. <clears throat> Usually I would see that as a, as a good sign, like a release. But what I'm seeing here is the Pentacle reversed. Whenever I see the Pentacle reversed, the Pentacle reversed to me tells me that the genitals, which is what this wall, what this, this kind of star represents in, in the form of a man, the genital or, or a human, right? The genitals is now at the head. So that means that the root chakra is now ruling everything, which is not where you want it to be. You want it to be in a space where you are, you, you want it to be at the bottom. You want it to be doing its thing. It's rooting. It's not supposed to be at the top. The top, what's supposed to be at the top is supposed to be the higher level chakras. It's supposed to be the blues, the purples, the insight. And there's a real kind of like lack of being able to see the the good in this. There's a bit of reminiscing on the past, believing that um, you know things were better in the past. Things were things were um, really good back then. Let's see what the bottom of the deck is saying. Well, do you know what I mean? The sun reversed. 
I mean, I'm going to take that. Yeah, the sun reversed. Like, that's pretty much saying that <laughs> that that this kind of despondent attitude is really... I don't know, you may have like faced a disappointment. There may be some no's happening. So there may have been some rejections. There may have, have also been a choice. So either in love or in work, I'm seeing here. So it's either that there may be something in love um, that, um, that, that, that you maybe got rejected for because we've got we've got look we've got this is all rejection do you know what i mean and then um it, it, it's a source of unhappiness but really in in the hindsight of things you've got clothes well I, I hope so i really hope so but you know there's a lot of things in your life i was gonna say you've got clothes on your back you've got food on the table i really i don't know that so i don't know what your social situation is but like in the respect of like what you what you do have what you can be grateful for there's a sense of like not you know i i always see the sun reversed as uh, the sun on a cloudy day so we know that the sun is there the sun is risen because it's daylight and look at how the sun comes in right now when i'm talking about that but sometimes we can't see it because we're all trapped in our own bullshit. Do you know what I'm, I reckon, right? Tidy up, right? Whatever it is, just have a clean, a clean. First and foremost, have a shower, right? Have a shower. Just have a shower, wash it all away. If you've got some salt, wash yourself in some salt. So what somebody didn't choose you? So what? If they didn't choose you in work or they didn't choose you in, um, in uh, uh, love, so what? It means that something much better for you is coming around the corner. And it's, you know, I see no's here. This is what I see with these. No, no. You know, it wasn't allowed. It wasn't allowed. And then there's some agonizing over this. Um, I see it a lot when um, I, when, when in, in the acting profession, when I used to be an actor, um, when people didn't get roles that, you know, they were up for a really big, like groundbreaking role, um, that could have really like pushed them out there and then they don't get it or they get, they miss out to it and they get hung up on it for years, for years. And you're just like, what are you doing? And then when you look at the people who are really doing well as actors or, um, you know, they don't care about it. They're just like, yeah, we, they'll, they'll acknowledge it because it's a, it's a pivotal moment. But it's about, it's about how you move on from this. Yeah, maybe the choice wasn't made. Yeah, maybe you didn't get chosen. But you can't go back and, like, live in the past, can you? It was good back then. But that is not now. So now it's about you realizing how you're going to go forward. Look at these oranges here. Oranges and reds and yellows staying within the three manifestations of the material chakras, which means to me that there is this, this, you know, you're staying in the material, particularly with this here. It's like, oh, I'm worried about, oh, I could have got this job. Oh, I could have got this thing. Oh, I could have got this person. Who cares? It, honestly, it, it's nothing that you can't get over, that you can't get through. And if you attach so much power to something that is outside of yourself, then, you know, you're going to be at the mercy consistently. And this, this state of mind, this nine of swords will be your default. And I don't think you want that. I don't think you want that. So get it in the bin. Get it in the trash. Get rid of it. <laughs> I say this with love. I say this with love. I give, I give offerings that are genuine. There may even be jealousy and envy going on here, you know? Because if you are giving to receive, then this is not congruent. They're like, it's not going to work out well, man. It's not going to work out. Women, lady, whoever, all of you. It's not going to work out well. It's really not. And, it, it, you know, I'm not saying this is somebody who's like completely um, angelic and somebody who can't, you know, resonate with that. Like, I, I do that too. We all do it at some point or another. But keep checking yourself, particularly when you're severely disappointed by something. You have to keep checking yourself. You have to because we're human. That's what we do. And it's natural for this to happen. But disappointment is inevitable. It's how we deal with it, which is the key to this life. 
and how we can move on through through that. And I say this as, a, as advice to myself and not just to you, okay? Um, it's very important, very, very important. Wow, so as I said, moving through this, the, the a solution to get through this, when you're in this state of mind, and I've been here, I remember I was here like a long time ago and I was stuck there. I, I got into my body and I'm telling you the body, the body, the body, the body, okay? It's about exercising. It's about sweating. It's about doing something. People say about gratitude and, and gratitude journals and whatnot, but I'm telling you, yeah, right? Do me a favor and give yourself, give yourself an offering that's genuine. Don't worry about anyone else right now. Give yourself an offering that's genuine so that you can resonate with that rather than you giving it to someone else and then there's a, there's a feeling of deficit. Give it to yourself because that's what you need right now. You really need that. So give it to yourself. And um, yeah, get through this day. Because this is a blip. This is an, in, a little blip. Little in, incremental blip. So I'm sorry if you're having a bad day. But yeah, do me a favor. Go and just get out of your get out of your head. Um, if you need to go into nature, go into nature. Go for a jog. But I, I honestly am saying to you, make sure that you get into your body. Because your body will get you out of it immediately. You try exercising and being in a bad mood, it doesn't work. And if it does, yeah, and if you don't feel happier afterwards, then that means you're not working, you're not exercising hard enough, you know? Give yourself that strength. Give yourself that, 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 that love to your body, okay? Tough love. I hope you enjoyed that reading. That was quite a pound reading, but look, it's in the shape of a heart. Um... I'm sending you all the love in the world, my darlings. Um, if you did like this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, my darlings, and love to you all. And thank you to all of my returning subscribers. You're all amazing. I love you all. And um, the comments, really love those. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.